and good evening from California as we come on the air here in the West tonight. And you probably woke up this morning like so many across this country saying not again. We are here in Thousand Oaks, California tonight, the scene of the nation's newest mass shooting. This time at a popular country music bar, the Borderline Bar and Grill on College Night. For students as young as 18, hundreds of people inside when the horror and the chaos began. Shots ringing out, people hiding under tables and bar stools, smashing windows to get away, running for their lives, carrying the injured as they ran. Police rushing to the scene, heavily armed officers, including a sheriff sergeant who was among the first to go in. He did not survive. Outside, the stunned survivors looking for their missing friends. And overnight and this morning here, families, parents rushing to the bar, some waiting for hours, waiting for news. Tonight, we have learned that 12 people were killed here and the heartbreaking moment of father here holding a, a picture of his son, then learning he'd lost him. ABC's Kena Whitworth on the scene all night long, and she has the video emerging tonight from inside the bar. Breaking glass, an empty dance floor. As the camera shakes that piercing sound, gunfire. Silence for six endless seconds. Then listen as people run for their lives. Guys, run, go, he's coming out this door. It's 11.20 p.m. Wednesday night. Authorities say a gunman dressed in all black, his face partially covered, starts shooting even before he enters Borderline Bar and Grill. He shot the front doorman, bouncer, but yeah, just a young man. And then he, he shot the, the cashier, just a young girl. The subject was at the front shooting at everybody. He's still inside the bar. Witnesses say the bar quickly fills with smoke. The gunman was throwing smoke grenades. We got multiple people down. We need a lot of ambulances. Amid the chaos, the voice of a young man calling home. Mom, Dad, this is Max. He's been shooting at Borderline. Please wake up. The gunman keeps firing. I was on the dance floor. I heard the shooter. I looked back. And then a split second later, uh, everybody yelled, get down. Sheriff Sergeant Ron Helis is the first on scene within minutes, accompanied by a highway patrol officer. They rush inside, taking on the suspect. Sergeant Helis is shot several times and does not survive. Eleven others also killed. Several more wounded. It's a horrific scene in there. There is blood everywhere. The gunman, identified by authorities as 28-year-old Ian David Long, a former Marine. Authorities say it appears he took his own life inside the bar. Matt Winterstrom hid under a pool table until it was safe to run. So I grabbed a bar stool. We went through the through the window and then we people, whoever was in the front basically was pushing the glass down and jumping out and help helping the guys and girls out. And Kena Whitworth is with us here live in California. And as you reported there, Kena, at the borderline bar, it was college night here. The sheriff today actually saying that those active shooter drills that so many young people in our country are now growing up with might have saved so many lives overnight. Yeah, David, and that's a sad reality in this country, but the sheriff saying this could have been so much worse if not for the heroes inside. Now, people I spoke with called this their safe place. But now, David, this is a place marred with violence and death. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.